Hey guys, it's me, Captain Floppy, and today I'm going to be showing you the strangest things about Minecraft. Like, things that I find strange. So the first thing we have is we've got cooked mutton, cooked rabbit, cooked chicken, cooked cod, cooked salmon, cooked pork chop, steak. This next one involves the nether, so let's just quickly go into the nether. Don't you find it strange now? If you put water in the nether, obviously it's really hot in the nether, so it will immediately evaporate. That's not the case if you put it in a cauldron. There's functioning water, what? So if I set myself on fire, and I go in the cauldron, it works. That's fully functioning water. So now we need to go back into the overworld. Next is to do with bottles and cauldrons. You can... If you have a one block of water, you can fill up as many bottles of water as you like. But if you take that same infinite water for bottles and put it in a cauldron, it will drain the cauldron. I don't get that. Next, what we have is how there used to be a crafting recipe for the enchanted apple, but now there isn't. I don't get why Mojang would remove it. I mean, gold was pretty hard to get back when it was, you know, still in the game. Like, you'd have to get a stack and eight of just gold. But, and then they removed it. And I think it's a pretty fair price for how much you need, how much gold you need to make a golden apple. This next one involves honey blocks and slime blocks. So if we got the ladder here to our little diving board, see we've got slime blocks and honey bo blocks. If we land on the slime blocks, you know, it'll stop our fall and like bounce us up into the air. But if you land on honey block, you just take damage even though honey is basically the same as slime. I mean slime is sticky and so is honey. Next one involves pistons. Pistons should be really really strong. If they can if they can push twelve one meter by one meter by one meter cubes of pure gold with ease. And the same with wool, even though wool is a lot softer than, you know, um, gold. If you just add an extra one onto the end of, like, a really light and fluffy material, it can no longer push that, even though it can literally push 12 blocks of gold with ease. So, I don't really understand how it can't push, like, something really light when it involves buttons so if i take a big block of wood and then i put in the crafting table and i get my oak button where did all my other wood go one involves stairs so stairs are one a one by one block yeah you see you get four stairs by doing this that's four of these we're wasting two wood because we get four stairs for six wood and stairs are about as big as a block and also where did the wood here go it's like the button this next one involves droppers so you can see that when you place it down it's facing forward like that way it has a happy little face and you know it's got its eyes but then the moment you place it like that its happy face goes away and its eyes and its mouth just becomes a square 
Like, where did the nice little happy face go? Now it's just a square in the middle of stone. This next one's to do with the end. The end is a strange place. I mean, where is it located in the world? You can see that the end is obviously in the sky because of the void down there. But then, if I fly up in the overworld, shouldn't I just end up at the end? Like, I don't think that really makes sense. I'll just, I guess I'll just die, because I have no way back. Um, because if you just put a stick and a block of cobblestone, you can literally create enough power to power a light by just flicking it. Like, where is all this power coming from? It must be coming from somewhere. Could it be inside of the weaver, or is it in the redstone? Who knows? Anyway guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed and I guess you should subscribe because you've made it to the end without leaving. And also, yeah this was the top 10 strangest things I think about Minecraft. Yeah and that's it. Goodbye. <laughs>